Good morning, DMV, Angie, Angela, your mic, and uh, welcome to another edition of our Kiss in the Community Public Affairs Show. Now, with school ending, um, a lot of times I hear young people tell me, oh, I don't got nothing to do, or oh, I need uh, uh, an outlet to have some fun, or things of that nature, and so... Um, this show right here is important to me because one, it talks about young people and we're also going to be talking about arts and finding your passion. And a lot of times the best way to find your passion comes through the arts. Uh, because don't we all love music and don't we all love to express ourselves, but sometimes we may not realize all the different ways you can do that. So with me today, I have um, a good friend, Lamont Image Brown. He's, he's an artist and he's also the founder of his own organization called Swaliga. And um, I wanted to bring him on today because I think what he's doing with the youth and how he's relating and touching the youth with his own artistic ability and helping them tap into theirs is so important. And they've got a, he's got a big event that he's teaming up with some of his other artistic friends to do called Steam the Block. So Lamont, aka Image, welcome to the show, man. Thank you for hiring me. Thank, thank you, you for thank you for coming <laughs> to see me uh, over there the other day on what was that Action Run Pool over yeah, there in, in Southeast. Southeast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you you walked up on me. And you said, Hey, I know we're gonna see you at this this Steam the Block event <laughs> that uh, you and Bird and everybody's been talking about Steam the Block, and I, I love the mission of it and what it's about. And so you know, I said I gotta bring you on when I knew when I heard about Swaliga. I said we got to talk about Swaliga. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. First off, for people that, you know, are just hearing your voice, let people know a little bit about yourself, Lamont. Cool. So, um, I was born right here in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. um, started doing music when I was younger, kept doing music, and that, that became my passion. Um, but what happened, when I went to school, I went to college, uh, Drexel University, and got a degree in engineering. Because um, mm -hmm. I enjoyed math and science, like that was cool. Mm -hmm. You know, and parents were like, oh, you should get a job. So I was kind of going with the status quo, but what it taught me when I graduated, I learned how to solve problems like an engineer. And then I realized that I felt in the vast majority of people that go to school and don't necessarily use their degree because mm -hmm. they're more passionate about something else. Absolutely. So that led me to found the Swaliga Foundation in 2012, the year that I graduated, to help other young people find their passion that much sooner mm -hmm. so that they could start you know, down a more positive path. Um, right. So I continued doing music after that and that's how we started to bridge that gap between the arts and STEM, right? Because that engineering background, that piece came easy to me. But what I saw when I came back to DC from Philly, a lot of our schools, a lot of our young people, even though they might be good at math and science, mm -hmm. it's not taught in a way that really gravitates towards them. So mm -hmm. I did my best to figure out a way to make it more accessible, um, make it more of an option Right. You know, for the young people that we serve. So yeah, that's kind of how that got started. And how has it gone so far? Like, what do you notice when you're working with young people as far as just teaching them other things within the arts and using engineering even into mm -hmm. to arts? They love it. I mean, I, I think it's a, it's a building thing. I, n I never expected to be a teacher. That was never my plan. But mm -hmm. it's so rewarding when you see their eyes light up when they're like, yo, I'm actually good at this. Like, we're teaching physics, we're teaching engineering design, we're doing wow. stuff that they're supposed to be learning in school, but when they come to our program or when they work with us, it's a lot more fun. So that, just to see their eyes light up, it's been rewarding and the program has grown tremendously because what we've seen, they'll tell their friends, oh, hey, you should come to Steam the Block or come meet Mr. Lamont, we're doing X, Y, Z. So the program has grown a lot and we've seen um, other young people kind of spread the word and be advocates for what we're trying to do. Awesome. Where do you, where does your program usually kind of work out of or what area are you in currently? So we started um, at the Boys and Girls Clubs right in, <laughs> in Ward 7, right on Benning Road in Northeast. Um, I literally, that was my first job out of college. Mm -hmm. Like I was uh, working at my dad's shop at Pro Wash and then went in there to volunteer, volunteer. like, hey, I want to do arts with kids. Mm -hmm. um, we're working with the Swaliga Foundation and we pretty much built the program up from the ground up there because you had teens coming in the building, but they didn't really have anything to do. And they had studio equipment there, but nobody to run it. Everybody wanted to do music. They're like, oh, I'm a rapper. So I said, okay, we use the studio mm -hmm. to pull them in. Like, yeah, let's record music, let's write songs. Mm -hmm. But we taught them the, the physics behind it, taught them the frequencies, taught them the sound engineering. And then from there, talked about the other STEM arts related pieces mm -hmm. and that kind of branched out to us doing um, this STEAM program 
in DC, Maryland, and Virginia with the Boys and Girls Clubs. Mm -hmm. And then now in several schools in uh, DC, Maryland, Virginia, and even um, South Africa, we're working with a couple different organizations out mm -hmm. there. So the program has grown tremendously from just that one seed being planted and then the kids just reciprocating and showing how much it was needed. Yeah, I think exposure goes a long way when it comes to, you know, young people being able to, to reach their fullest potential. If you're not exposed to certain things, you know, you'll think, okay, well, I'm going to be Gucci man, because that's what you see, <laughs> right. you know, or you think, you know, this is, I'll, I'll be a rapper, because that's what you see. Right. And, and so I think what you guys are doing by saying, okay, you know, bring that, let's bring that, but let's show you all the other things and all the other ways that, that music is created. I think just that exposure alone, alone goes so far in their lives. Exactly. And, and that's, then go ahead. I was just gonna just gonna add um, that exposure piece. Like it's it's yeah. one thing to say, hey, you could be anything you want to be. You could be a <laughs> doctor. You could be an engineer. But some of the kids that we serve, they're around the polar opposite of Absolutely. that environment. Mm -hmm. So it's another thing to actually bring an engineer in mm. or to bring a doctor in to the session and say, I like to introduce you to my friend so and so, and they get to ask questions, mm -hmm. and it makes it a lot more tangible for them. Mm -hmm. Like I tell my students all the time, like, yeah, my name is Image. We could chop it up, we're gonna make music, but best believe I got my degree, I'm an engineer as well. Like there's a lot of different pathways that you can take. So that exposure, like you said, is so key. Yeah, and I think also because you're you're so young too, you look like them. That helps. You know, yeah, there's someone listening right now and they're like, Man, I want my child to see what this is, or I want my kid to 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 meet image. How can that happen? Or Absolutely. Mm -hmm. This program, um, goes throughout the school year. So we run from October to June. Um, currently right now at the Boys and Girls Clubs. Um, okay. We also- Specific ones or is it, it's been in, I know you said you were, you started off at Ben and Road. So is it mainly Ben and Road? Depending on the age group. So we work okay. with five to 18. The teen program that we're specifically talking about, the mm -hmm. Steam the Block program, right now is taking place at three clubs. So it's taking place nice. at the Ben and Road Club, mm -hmm. on Clubhouse 14 in Northeast. Uh, we also do one in Alexandria, the Dunbar Club, right across the bridge. Um, and then we're also working with the FBR Club um, in Southeast. Shout out to LeVar, FBR Nation, the whole crew over there. And then um, in addition to that, mm -hmm. um, if anyone really wants to get their kid involved in our type of STEAM programming, they can hit us up at info at um, swaligafoundation.org, go to the website. Mm -hmm. And we have different workshops and things that we do outside of the yearly program. So say that doesn't work for somebody's schedule. Right. We do workshops, we do events, we do different things to help stay connected and just create that exposure. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have other STEAM partners that we work with as well that mm -hmm. we can provide resources. Nice, now let's talk a little bit about the STEAM the Block event that you have coming up. Cause that's what, next week? That's coming up, yeah, June 18th. June 18th, yeah. the, the week after, I think. That's the week after, week something after. like that. June 18th, mark your <laughs> calendars. Mark your calendars, June 18th, Steam the Block. Tell us a little bit about this event. Yeah, so on June 18th, Saturday, we doing a block party style. I basically wanted to celebrate the young people that have been grinding it out in this program um, from the start mm -hmm. of this school year. And it's really that, it's a celebration. We got live music, live entertainment, um, there will be steam uh, stations set up where kids can interact with 3D printing, robotics, mm -hmm. uh, virtual reality, video game truck is going to pull up. A um, lot of different fun activities for the whole family. Um, I'm performing. A few of my dope intergalactic artist friends are performing. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So and where is this at? Where is Steam the Black going to be at? And what time should we place. show up? This is taking place at that Benning Road location, okay. Clubhouse 14. So that's 4103 Benning Road, Northeast DC. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be set up right outside. Um, shout out to DPR. We're gonna have the big outdoor stage. Mm -hmm. um, Best Buy is gonna be there. Um, yeah, the event is from 12 to four on that mm -hmm. Saturday. 12 so, to 4. All right, so everybody yeah. mark your calendars. I assume it's free. Open it is free. It's a free event. Where <laughs> right. else can you go on a Saturday? <laughs> right. See free live entertainment. Right. Activities. It'll be food there, too. Oh, man. From All you got to say is food. <laughs> I would be, I might be there right at pull 12. Up. Yeah. I might have to pull up right at 12. <laughs> First in line. There you go. On Bennett Road. Steam the block. And, and for some people that, um, I know we hear the term STEM 
a lot, right? STEM, and then we're hearing STEAM now. So tell people the difference between uh, STEM and knows about STEM per se, even though you've heard it. I'm glad you said that because mm -hmm. you're right. A lot of people um, don't aren't familiar with that term, but STEM um, is an acronym. It stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Mm -hmm. And that's been kind of the push. They're starting to throw that buzzword out there a lot more because what's happening in America, like US students are way behind on a global scale yeah. in terms of math and science testing. So now they're like in a scramble to help get those scores up because that's the way the workforce and everything we're doing is rooted in technology. So that's mm -hmm. the way things are heading. What we do, um, we're kind of helping to steer the movement towards STEAM. So we add in the A mm -hmm. to that STEM, mm -hmm. which is the arts. Nice. Which is a key piece. I don't know how you can <laughs> have STEM without the arts, honestly. Right, right. Um, so I'm happy to kind of be one of the thought leaders, I like to think, in showing how we can be more creative about teaching STEM. Right. And we do that a lot of different ways, but that's how you get STEAM. So it's science, tech, engineering, arts, and math. And it's not really separated in that, even though it's an acronym, mm -hmm. it's all taught at one time because it's really a, a educational philosophy mm -hmm. in terms of tapping into that passion like we were talking about mm -hmm. and then branching off into those different things and whatever activity it may be absolutely and and just what you guys are doing is incredible and i know it's going to become such a a large movement so i'm excited for you guys again steam the block mark your calendars bring your children out learn more about uh lamon image brown and his organization his foundation swaliga again june 18th from 12 to 4 steam the block live music Food, free, good times, fun times, performances, it's going to be dope, 4103 Bennett Road uh, over there in Northeast D.C. And so again, for people who are listening and they may say, man, I, I want to be a part of Swaliga, not just as a, a student. We talked about ways that parents or, you know, adults can bring young people to Swaliga, and we know that you guys are in these different um, these different boys and girls clubs, mm -hmm. but for uh, another engineer, another musical talent or artistic person who's listening and they're looking to volunteer or they're looking to um, donate services, how can they reach out to you and the Swaliga Foundation? Definitely. So, um, if you go to SwaligaFoundation.org, I may even put out my personal email. Absolutely. L e m o n d at SwaligaFoundation.org. That's S-W-A-L-I-G-A. I was going to say, we're going to have to spell Swaliga. <laughs> yeah. I know people listening like, Swa Swahili? Swa Swa what? <laughs> Swaliga, people. Swaliga. Swaliga, baby. <laughs> where'd you get that word from? So, what does Swaliga mean to you? Or, or what is that? Oh, so that's a... <laughs> That's a very interesting story that um, I'll tell you the full version of that story later. But the, mm -hmm. the term comes from St. Martin. Um, mm -hmm. It's an island word. So the original island of St. Martin was referred to as Swaliga. Um, but what it means to me, it speaks to the passion of the people. Mm -hmm. So when I hear Swaliga, I think about like passion and how everybody has a different passion. Everybody has a different purpose. So that kind of became the driving force in everything that we do is just helping people in general find that passion. Nice, yep. nice, because that's important, man. You know, I think too many of us, we, we lose our passion trying to pursue, like, you know, everyday stuff, you know, mm. so the everyday, the rent, you got to pay your rent, you got to pay for your phone, you got to get the new jays, yeah. you got to take care of yourself, and in the process, you know, we look for what is going to provide for us as opposed to, like you said, where's your passion? It's tough. It's and tough. tapping into that passion. So yeah. I love what Swaliga's doing. Again, get them your, your email address, too, one more time. I know people listening probably missed it. Yeah, so one more time is Lamont. L-E-M-O-N-D at Swaliga, S-W-A-L-I-G-A, foundation.org. You can send us an email. You can go directly to the site. There's information on there as well. If you're interested in volunteering with us, working, if you know some engineers, some doctors, mm -hmm. yourself that might want to make an appearance and speak to our young people, or if you want to volunteer at an event, or just find out more about what we do, please hit us up. Let's stay connected. Let's build. Yeah, Swali, and that's SwaligaFoundation.org as the website for more information, more details. Now, you know I got to ask you two to spit a couple lines for me. You know, you about to perform at this, <laughs> this Steam the Block event. So, you know, come June 18th from 12 to 4. And I guess since you're already schooling the youth, I feel like it's only right that we, we let you spit a couple bars, man. Give them a little taste of, of Steam the Block. I appreciate that. You ready to roll, Emmett? Yeah, you you got some intros. We doing acapella. We How you do acapella. Okay, we, we can do acapella. acapella we can do that. Because I want them to hear the words. Sometimes people lose 
lose the message with the beat. So we gonna do this Fact. acapella, man. Can we can we do this though? So that people know that it's a freestyle. Because what happens a lot, people don't <laughs> people don't always give you a oh, real so freestyle. A freestyle. Okay. Yeah, I, I wanna spit some bars. I thought you give me some some original pieces. And so you say you going off the top. I can do that too, but yeah, let's go off the no, top. Let's, let's go live off in the, the top. moment. I love a good freestyle. So it's hard to come by these days with artists. It like, is. You can't do the tough. freestyle. That's a that's, that's a, a that's a art. different gift, man. That's a lost art. That's a lost art. <laughs> so can you do do me a favor, Angie? Can you give me three words? Describing three. something that we talked about or something dealing with the Stina Block. Three party words. To throw into the freestyle. Block. Okay, all right. Um, I'll give you passion. Passion, I like that. I'll give you arts. Arts. And I'll give you Swaliga. Swaliga, okay. Yeah. okay. I can do that. I can do that. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm just having a beat in my head. That's uh -huh, all good. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Say three words. Uh -huh. Three words, yeah, shout out to Angie, we coming no reverb. This is acapella when we coming off the top. June 18th, we be steaming on your block. Swat League, baby, yeah, the team's crazy. You rocking with the tribe, we just do this every day. These youngers, they need us, so we got to feed them. We them true cool dudes, vibe new leaders. And we be doing like that, yeah, I'm a teacher. And I say, yo, lay and I be on the bleachers. Yeah. Like, yeah, I got bars all day, I M A G. Young boy don't play, got 16s off the top of the dome, and I'm just cooling at the station. We feeling at home. We got Angie, Andrew, yeah. you in the mix right now. <laughs> KYS, we got the tribe like, ah. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> image, ladies and gentlemen, image, and the founder of Swaliga. See, you can have like swag. Shout out to Swaliga. Uh -huh. um, you, can swag, <laughs> you can have like, you know, hip hop talent and, and ability and you can be a brilliant mind too. You can be that engineer. You know, again, I think what's so amazing is that I'm, I'm standing or I'm sitting across from a man that's got a, a degree in engineering, you know, a young black man who just spit bars, but, <laughs> but, but has a degree in engineering. Right. And you're taking that time out to give that back to, you know, your own because that's what's missing a lot of us we we're getting these advanced degrees you know we're getting out here we're we're moving forward but as you move forward and i tell this to college students all the time as you move forward you have to give back and that's the problem you can't keep moving up we can't all keep moving up moving up and then we at the top you know uh like w.e.b du bois said the town to tenth but the town to tenth the purpose of the town to tenth is to go back mm. and there's that 90 percent that that may not get the same opportunity or right. didn't get that exposure and when they see you, Image, or when they see Steam, or just the whole team, like what you guys are doing, it can it can change their whole reality as far as what they can be. So I just think that what Swaliga is doing, what Steam the Block is about, is it's it's like essential to creating change. You know, because mm. like you said, the the president, everybody's talking about it, right? Exactly. Everybody's saying, you know, like hell, I'm a product of, of I don't know math for any. Like, <laughs> exactly. I don't know math either. And, uh, and, uh, and that makes me mad. But, you know, part of it is probably somewhere in my youth like that, that got lost. So mm -hmm. for someone like you who took to it and, and made the most of it, and then you can circle it back to your art, to mm -hmm. your passion, to your heart, mm -hmm. um, it's just so awesome. And I think when they see that, um, they'll be able to connect that much more with you. So for anybody who's listening, um, definitely connect with Lamon and the crew. Do you have, um, I'm sure you guys have the social media. Definitely, account definitely. Too, right? Yeah, if you're on any social media account, follow us, connect with us at Tribe Swaliga, T R I B E S W A L I G A, at Tribe Swaliga. And if you want to follow me personally, my IG is at This Is Image. Mm -hmm. This is I M A G, no E. Nice. And is there anything else? Um, uh, that you want to say just about your organization or just what you guys are doing before uh, we sign off here? Um, I just want to say again, thank you for having me. Like I really yeah. appreciate the opportunity. Um, and I just want to say that what we're doing, we need everybody's support. Yo, like it doesn't just happen with one person. It doesn't happen with just one small group of people. Like for a movement to really make an impact, we need the parents. We need the youngins. We need people that are serious about doing something different and making a positive impact to really join together. You know what I'm saying? So please connect with us, link up. Um, we're about changing kids' lives. So if you're about that too, let's make something happen.
Once again, guys, that's a Lamon Image Brown. Swaliga is the foundation. And, you know, again, kudos to you guys, not just for spreading your message in the D.C. area, but you're also, like, branching off into a global element, which is in South Africa, right? Absolutely. I mean, just realize, so I had the, the blessing of being able to go there last year and just to see how similar the young people over there were to the young people I work with in D.C. Mm. It gave me chills. I was like, we got to connect and my kids need to see this because that's another thing that happens. We don't get to travel as much as the people. So July 1st, we're taking um, some of our best and brightest students over to South Africa. We're going to Cape Town and Joburg nice. to do STEAM activities with the young people in South Africa, wow. bringing our educators with us too. And we're going to build and really get them to not only see the education piece, but to connect through the arts as well wow. and kind of bridge that gap back to the continent. So. Wow. So you're taking like kids from like what, DC. Grade, what age? Group High like? school. High school? Yeah. Right? We're taking juniors and seniors. Wow. So we're sending them off. <laughs> um, in the right way, giving them that exposure. You know what I'm saying? What are they, what, oh yeah, because they're about to graduate, they're right? They're about to so, graduate, yeah. Wow, so they, said, they can say they went from D.C. to South Africa. D.C. to Cape Town, <laughs> Joburg, the whole nice. nine. And so part of it too, a lot of the young people that we serve, they aren't necessarily financially able to fund a trip like this themselves. So as an organization, we made partnerships to make that a lot easier, but we're still trying to ease the burden that much more. So we're actually doing a fundraiser on global giving right now. The information on that is on our website, swaligafoundation.org. Mm -hmm. If you want to support or if you want to learn more about the trip or how we're bridging that gap to South Africa, please check it out. Any way you can help, I would appreciate it. Our kids would appreciate it too. Nice, nice. So, so how was South Africa? Like, I was the most was like? amazing trip that gorgeous. I've ever been on. Like, you can't really picture it based on what they, they show us about Africa, right. but going to Cape Town changed my life. I was like immediately I was like like everybody needs to see this. I mean it was it was amazing. The people were beautiful. Everybody showed love. Weather was great, vibe was mm -hmm. amazing. It was just a great place to be. Nice, nice. And now you get to take some young people with you. I can't wait. I'm just I'm <laughs> like I'm Hey, just I might like, need to I might need to take that trip myself, man. Let me get on the track with some, some yeah. of the young ass down there. You there know? you go, there you go. Let's <laughs> Let me do spend it. some time with, with the youth in Cape Town. There you okay? go. They would love that. <laughs> Lamont, it's been a pleasure talking to you, man. Thank you again just for what you're doing. And we will see you as well as the whole Swaliga Foundation crew as Steam the Block once again, Bennett Road, uh, 4103 at the Boys and Girls Club. That's Club 14, right? Club 14, Club Boys and 14, Girls Club. June 18th, everybody is welcome. Live music, good food, DPR will be out there. We got the stage, the works. We going all out. We going in. And we're going to Steam the Block with 93.9 WKYS and the Swaliga Foundation. This concludes our Kiss in the Community Public Affairs show. Make sure you reach out to my man Lamont Image Brown and uh, even even if you, if you heard some of this information, maybe you didn't get everything, it'll be on KYSDC.com. And uh, as well, you can meet Lamont yourself uh, June 18th at the Steam the Block uh, event. So thank you. And for everybody else out there, have a great Sunday. I'll catch y'all on Monday, tomorrow, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. right here on 93.9 WKYS. Good. Thank you.